Hello everyone. Let's listen to God's word. We'll read from the Bible, from the Old Testament, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 12. It reads thus. A land that the Lord your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord your God are always upon it. From the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Here ends the word of the Lord. Let us read the story of the mountain. Once upon a time, there was a small village that nestles at the foot of a mountain. One day, an old man came to the village. He had a long white beard that gleamed in the sun, but his clothing was faded and tattered. He was selling delicious cakes and was carrying a heavy load of them wrapped in paper. The smell of the cakes was delicious and the villagers streamed out of their heads to see what the old man was selling. Sweet cakes for sale, he cried. Delicious sweet cakes for sale. One for 10 cents, two for 20 cents, three for free, he shouted. What? said the villagers. He's nuts, they whispered among themselves. Sweet cakes for sale, the old man cried again. Delicious sweet cakes for sale. One for 10 cent, one, two for 20 cent, three for free. More and more villagers gathered round, whispering to each other, that can be true. He must be tricking us some way. Then a chubby young boy stepped forward. I don't care, he said. I'll eat three of the cakes and we'll soon see if they are for free or not. He held out his hands for the cakes. They were huge, sticky, and delicious. He stuffed the first cake into his mouth, munching away. Yum. He mumbled through the crumbs in his mouth. This is the most delicious cake I've ever eaten. And he began to shove the second cake in his mouth as a trickle of saliva ran down his cheek. The cakes were enormous. After eating two, he had eaten more than enough. And his stomach was feeling full. But he looked at the old man and asked, If I eat three, then I don't have to pay anything. Is that right? That's right said the old man. I never tell lies. So the boy took a third cake and stuffed it into his mouth so he wouldn't have to pay for them, even though he was beginning to feel quite sick in his stomach. He dropped the papers in the ground. When the rest of the villagers saw that the old man had kept his promise, they pushed and shoved to get the front so that they could also get their share of the free cakes. Each one of them came forward and asked for three cakes so that they wouldn't have to pay for them. Even though they knew three were actually too many. Eventually, the old man's bucket was empty and he returned home. Those villagers who had come too late grumbled and groaned about missing out on the free cakes. For ten days in a row, the old man came to the village calling out again and again sweet cakes for sale delicious sweet cakes for sale one for 10 cent two for 20 cent three for free the villagers continued to stuff themselves every day with three cakes so they wouldn't have to pay for them even though they were too full and some of them had stomach ache for eating too many cakes the pile of papers grew. Then the, the, the papers filled the, the, the area because the cakes were filled in, were wrapped in paper. So the pile of papers grew. On the tenth day, the villagers were once more shoving cakes in their mouth when a little girl came up to the old man and touched his arm. Please, master. Could you give me one of your cakes? 
She asked shyly and held out 10 cents to pay for it. The villagers stared at her and shook their heads in amazement. What a stupid child to pay for something when she could have three times as much for free, they muttered. The old man smiled at her and bent down to look deep in her eyes. Young girl, he said gently, did you hear me clearly? One for ten cent, two for twenty cent, three for free. Why will you want only one cake when you can have three for free? The little girl smiled back at the old man and said, I understand about three for free, but I have watched you carrying your heavy load of cakes to our village every day. Every time you've made no money and have gone home empty-handed. I'm so sorry. I really want to help you, but I have only enough money to pay for one cake. When they heard the girl's words, the villagers blushed and hid their heads in shame. At last, said the old man, I have found the right person to my people. I'm the spirit of the mountain behind your village. Everyone turned to look at the mountain. For the first time, they noticed that half of the mountain was missing. The old man had been testing their hearts by using the soil from the mountain to make sweet cakes to sell, and the villagers had already eaten a huge chunk of the mountain, leaving an ugly jacked hole in its side. The old man took the girl home with him to teach her the ways of the earth and to pass on the, to her his special skills as the spirit of the mountain, for she was indeed gentle-hearted and willing to learn the lessons that nature teaches us. So we must learn that when we take things from God's earth, and don't look after creation. We damage God's creation. We must stop littering. What we can, what we'll rather do, we'll rather reuse and recycle. Let us pray. Sovereign Lord, you are the creator and sustainer of the earth, and you have given us dominion over its resources. Forgive us for squandering your gifts. Inspire us to conserve them and use them aright. In the service of your people and the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So let us go and check around our houses. If maybe we have a space, we can establish vegetable gardens. And we must take care of nature and we must stop polluting and stop Stop littering. Got the whole world in his hands, has got the whole world in his hand, has got the whole world in his hand, has got the whole world in his hand. He's got you and me in his hands, has got you and me in his hands, has got you and me in his hands, has got the whole world in his hand. He's got the bees and the ants in his In his hand has got the sea and the soil. In his hand has got the whole world in his hand. He's got the giraffe and the cow. In his hand has got the giraffe and the cow. 